this sound. What is it? Could it be a hissing cat? Not even close. Fingernails on a chalkboard? Nope. Wait, is it the MBTA's power wash train in action? Correct. But what is the power wash train? Good thing you asked. When fall comes to the northern states, the leaves turn all sorts of colors. Shades of red, yellow, or orange. You name it. But what happens when these leaves fall off the trees? Obviously, they go on the ground, and also train tracks. When a leaf falls on a train track, and a train runs over it, the leaf exudes oil, which, combined with the pressure from the trains, creates this oozy paste that sticks to the rail. This makes the railhead super slippery. This residue renders the railroad tracks too slick for train wheels to gain traction. This can cause wheel slip when the train is accelerating and wheels slide when braking. In 2006, the MBTA's Director of Railroad Operations said, quote, It's like driving on ice. We'd rather have snow. End quote. Well, if that doesn't show how bad it is, I don't know what does. Typically, commuter rail trains are affected by slippery rail more than freight trains because they are lighter and have different, less effective braking systems. In 2006, the MBTA usually averaged an on-time performance of about 95%, but in October and November of that year, that number dropped to the low 80s. The Worcester and Fitchburg lines were the most affected. Then again, in 2006, the MBTA's wash train equipment was much less effective. It was restricted to 10 mile an hour speeds on all lines, and thus it could not tackle enough lines in one day. Around 2018, the MBTA built two new wash trains able to operate from 30 to 40 miles per hour. The wash train uses high pressure warm water that jet sprays the leaf residue off the railheads, and the new wash train was able to increase the pressure substantially. Come along and see the wash train in action in and around Boston. So here we are, November 14th, 2021, sitting at Chelsea Station waiting for the wash train to pass us. We are out here today for the power of this train. On this day, the wash train had two relatively uncommon locomotives. One of the last non-rebuilt F40PH-2Cs and a Genset 3GS21B. MBTA's Genset fleet consists of a whopping two locomotives, the 3248 and the 3249. These troublesome switching locomotives have been with the MBTA for more than 12 years. They have finally been released for service again after a long dormant period. Wait, do you hear that? I think that's them coming now. Adrenaline pumping, we decide to take the next outbound to Beverly Depot, where we can see the wash train twice more. We chose the Elliott Street Crossing as our spot, and the wash train returns south soon after our arrival. At Beverly Junction, where the Newburyport and Rockport lines split, the wash train waited for inbound 2160 to clear before proceeding up the Newburyport line.
Only one week later, I was wandering around Kenmore Square when I said, Hey, why don't I go down to Lansdowne to see a train? This is a spontaneous decision that I did not regret in the end, because minutes after I got there, the wash train rounded the bend. The MBTA has two wash trains, one for the north side and one for the south side. This is the south side set, which had 3248 sister, 3249 leading. We see the wash train one last time at Malden Center. This clip was taken in early October. <laughs> 